Are you tired of buying bags and bags of ice to keep your cooler cold? Well, I may have found a solution in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. So if you're like us and you're just tired of buying bags and bags of ice for a cooler, I think I found a solution. We've been looking for something to do exactly that and we had a company reach out to us and ask us to try out one of their products, an electric cooler. Now the name of the company is F40 C4 TMP, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the direct link from our Amazon shop to their product. Just look down below in the description on YouTube of this video and you, that'll head you right over to our Amazon shop where you can check it out. But what I'd like to do in this video is do four specific things. Number one, we're going to go through the specs on this. Number two, we're going to look at the features. Number three, I'm going to show you how to operate it. And if you stay all the way to the end of the video, number four, I'm going to show you exactly how much will actually fit in this cooler. So without further ado, let's dive right into number one, specs. When your cooler arrives, it's going to come in a cardboard box with some really nice foam padding to protect it from damage during the actual shipping process. Once you get your cooler unboxed, what you're going to find inside is you're going to find the actual cooler itself. You're going to find an owner's manual that's very simple, but it's going to give you the information you need to get it up and running and how to operate it. And you're also going to find the power cords. Now, with the power cords, you're going to have two options. Number one, you're going to get a 110 plug, just like to use in home um, or a regular outlet. And this is going to be about six and a half feet long. But you're also going to have a second option for plugging in, and that's going to be this 12 volt plug. And it will run on either 12 volt or 24 volt. Now, this cord is really nice because it's approximately 11 feet long. So you're going to have a lot of room to actually plug in utilizing it. Weight-wise, this comes in just a little over 23 pounds, so it's not real heavy. And size-wise, let's go ahead and take some measurements. We have about 22 inches wide, approximately 12 inches deep, and on the height, we're right around 11, 11 and a quarter inch. So it's not overly large. It's not going to take up a ton of space, but let's look at the inside, and we're going to take some measurements there. So as far as working space on this cooler, you can see it has a little over 13 and a half inches wide and close to nine and three quarters deep. And as far as a height on this, you're gonna have a good eight inches. Stay to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you just how much you can pack into this cooler. All right, on to item number two, features. This cooler is actually jam-packed with all kinds of features, and we're gonna start going through them right now, beginning with the physical cooler itself. When you look at the cooler, you will notice that there are these built-in cup holders. In case you wanna pull out a cold beverage and sit it right on top, you don't have to worry about it moving around, and they give you a nice flat surface just off to the side so you can set things. The other nice thing about this cooler is when you flip it upside down, you will notice that we have non-skid feet on the bottom. That's going to prevent our cooler from sliding around during transportation. So I really like that. It also has these molded handles that allow for us to lift up and set down easily. And it has a molded in handle right here in the front. And you can see it has a really nice seal. Did you see how that seals? They added this metal chain so that your lid can't actually fly back and break off. And I love the fact at how thick this is as far as insulation goes, because we all know good cooling or good heating requires good insulation to main those, maintain those temperatures. Now, as far as the actual display panel here, you'll notice we're gonna have a digital display we have an on-off switch, a setting switch, and a plus and minus. And then they added this little USB port so we can plug things in if we wanted to or needed to and utilize that USB port. Now, what I love as far as features with this is the fact that it can do three things. It can be a refrigerator, it can be a freezer, or it can actually be a hot box. Now, let's look on the cooling side. 
temperatures can range down to minus seven all the way up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the heating side, they can range anywhere from 77 degrees all the way up to 131 degrees. So if you want to keep warm foods warm, you can do that. On the other hand, if you want to keep things refrigerated, you can do that. Or you can crank that temperature down and turn this thing into a freezer and keep your frozen foods actually frozen. And I love the fact that there are two operation modes. We can either have this running in what they call max mode, which is going to get us colder quicker or hotter faster, or we can have it in eco mode, which is going to save us energy, which is really important if we're running on 12 volt or 24 volt. Uh, the other nice thing is it has in a battery protection system. It's going to give you three levels, high, medium, and low. You choose where you want to set it. And what it's going to do is it's going to shut this unit off if your battery falls to a specified level. And that way you don't have to wor worry about waking up the next morning and finding out you can't start your car or truck because your cooler ran the battery down. And so those are just really nice features built right into this cooler. Now let's go on to item number three, operation and how we can operate it. Operating this cooler is very simple. It comes with a easy to use owner's manual. It's going to give you most of what you need to know how to use it. Um, you'll notice here again, we've got a digital display panel. We have an on off button, a set lock button, and then we have the two temperature buttons for plus or minus. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and turn it on just by putting our finger on the touchpad for about three seconds, and it's going to turn on. Now you'll notice here, it says it's currently 53 degrees and it is in refrigerator mode. Um, now what we can do is we can go ahead and set our temperature on the cooler and I currently have it set at 32 degrees. Once it stops flashing, the, the temperature that's showing is what the actual temperature inside the cooler is. Now, I love the fact that this cooler is super quiet. You can't even really hear it running. Uh, again, I use this during Thanksgiving to keep extra foods cold and it was sitting out and people couldn't even believe that it was uh, actually operating. So it's nice and quiet, which is very nice. Um, again, I can just adjust the temperature by using the plus or minus, and I can just sit here and hold it and quickly go down. If I want to turn this into a freezer, I'm going to take it down to about zero degrees. And now we are going to be in freezer mode. It's going to get nice and cold and it'll be able to keep those frozen items frozen. Now, one of the nice things, if you're worried about somebody touching your settings after you have it set the way you want it, we can just hold the lock button and that's going to lock in those settings. And again, uh, you'll be able to set things like max versus eco. You'll also be able to do that battery protection if you're on 12 volt. Now to change it again, I'm gonna need to unlock this unit. And if I wanna go into heat mode, all I have to do is hold the plus and the minus. And now you'll notice we went from that snowflake over to this amber light. And then our display up top is also displayed in amber. And then what I can do is I can go ahead and adjust the temperature on that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take this right on up to the maximum 131 degrees and we're good to go. And then I can go ahead and just lock that in and now it's locked in case somebody touches it. They're not going to mess with any of my settings on the cooler. And that is literally how easy it is to operate this unit. Now, as I promised you, item number four, let's see what actually fits in this cooler. Okay, we're going to start with bottles of water. How many do you think we'll get in? We're going to find out right now. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And the lid still shuts. 20 bottles of water. Now let's go on and try cans of soda or beer. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Got to get the beer in there. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and you'll see no issues closing it. But I think we can go ahead and get the full case on in here. 
2021, 22, 23, and 24 with room to spare, probably can get at least one, maybe two more cans in there. So I'm going to go with 26 cans, no issue shutting the lid. All right, how about frozen food? How about a big old chuck roast? Let's see, we've got a sirloin steak. We've got another sirloin steak. We're going to go ahead and put in some ground beef. I got one pound, two pounds, three pounds, no problem there. Let's go ahead and throw in some ice cream. How about a couple more pounds of ground beef? So that puts us at five pounds. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in this pork loin. And finally, if I take this small pizza out of the box, I can get a frozen pizza in there, lid shut. Finally, let's see how many refrigerated items we can get in this cooler. Got our orange juice. Now you will need to lay your orange juice and your milk down just because of the height on it. Um, and then we can go ahead and I always like to bring my Baird Farm maple syrup. Got room for it. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a double pack of lunch meat. Um, we can go ahead and throw in a bag of lettuce. How about a nice cucumber for our salad? I'm going to throw in some cheese slices. Need those tomatoes to go with that salad. And I'm going to throw in some red raspberries and some black raspberries. And we might just have to do just a little shuffling. There we go. It is all in. Can you believe all of the food that we can get in this cooler? And what's really nice is, since it's an electronic cooler, I don't have to pack it with ice. I don't have to get my fingers numb from digging through ice looking for my stuff. And my lettuce and my vegetables and my fruits, they don't have to be soggy. 20 quarts of capacity, refrigerator, freezer, and hot box, all in a small package that can run on 110, 12 volt, or 24 volt. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to our Amazon shop with the product so you can check it out on your own. If you've ever used one of these, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you think. Or if you have questions, drop those down below as well. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.